Hey everybody, this is Luke with uh, Restex Studios, and I am showing you the water shader that I've been working on that I'm going to be incorporating with the auto landscape material pack that is on the marketplace um, as of this weekend. So this uh, will be added um, in addition um, with the with the version two version of the pack. So I'm just kind of going to give you a brief rundown. So under Restex Studios and under Auto Material, you have a landscape material. Just going to go on that, and then you'll have a, this new folder here called Water. Uh, go in there and it's a uh, basic water uh, shader so you would just lay down your your plane and then add your uh, material instance to it so that's what i did here um, for this little lake that i created so um, just kind of wanting to show you the, the functionalities of it and how to kind of get some uh, really good accurate uh, reflections as well using the reflection planner so uh, to kind of dive right in here let me just kind of go over the uh, the material instance and kind of what you can do with it so as you can kind of see, we have water color near, water color far, uh, water brightness, the water hue, and distant color shadowing, um, as well as the water depth, the distant density, and the uh, distance depth. Uh, reflection strength, uh, scale, uh, wave strength, water movement, and uh, Y water movement. So we'll start at the top. So um, with these color wheels, uh, you're able to just kind of change the color of the water to whatever you want. Um, as you kind of kind of see, the the distance uh, color doesn't really change. It's kind of more of the the closer you are to the camera color. Um, however, that's what this color is here is the far distance, so you can um, get a really good uh, result as far as the shadowing is concerned with uh, your different colors. Um, and if you didn't want to uh, use these color wheels. Um, I have what's called the water hue. So that allows you to change uh, the color based off of um, uh, actual number value. Um, so you can kind of just cycle through and it kind of automatically does the coloring for you. Um, so if you kind of want a more of a lagoon or a quarry type color, you can do something like that. Um, as well as uh, the brightness, so you can change the how the brightness reacts to it. So I can change that all that right here. Um, and if you did not want the distance kind of shadowing color uh, at all, you can just click on the distance color shadowing and uncheck this box. And as you can see, it just takes off that shadowing uh, color. So this uh, value right here is no longer going to be used. If this is off, it's mostly just going to be um, off of this fir first primary color. So I give you the options to kind of do all that stuff if you want. Um, so let's just is the default values. Uh, next one is the uh, depth distance and depth density. So this is, as you can see, um, it gives you kind of this uh, gradient of fog within it, and that could be changed um, here. So if you want a hard edge like that, you just put the depth uh, distance to zero, um, or you can, if you wanted something a little bit more along the lines of uh, being kind of almost opacity to see through, you can just adjust these values. Um, and as you can see, you can kind of see through the water as opposed to it being actually cloudy. So it gives you the ability to change all that and kind of however you want to do it. But it gives you a simple number of values to change. Uh, next one is the reflection strength. Um, this is kind of exactly what it is. Uh, right now I have this value, as you can see, and the mountains and whatnot. Um, but if you change this all the way up there, uh, everything becomes more reflective. Um, and this will definitely be a little bit uh, more in your face when we actually add the, uh, the planar reflections to it as well. Um, so it gives you the ability to kind of get the look that you're looking for. Um, and I might as well just keep this all the way up because this right here um, is a nice feature to have. So right now we have the water scale to 50. That's basically the actual scale of the normals. Um, so if you get this to a higher value, as you can see, the actual normals uh, scale differently. And then you can kind of go all the way down to something along the lines of that if you wanted. So you get a little bit different type of uh, scaling there. So. Um, you have this little slider to adjust um, along with the wave strength. So the wave strength is is the actual uh, normals and how deep in contrast that they actually are. So if you were to um, 
switch this all the way up as you can see it looks a little bit more wavy obviously not very realistic looking but if you were to actually use this in a scenario where you're gonna reach a uh, waterfall or something like that it would kind of make a little bit more sense and kind of going off of that you have the water of movement x and y so you know kind of going through that if you were to change this value you see how it's kind of rushing in one direction extremely quickly um, and you can play around with that value here but when you go in the negatives it's basically the opposite way so you can change any direction that you would want right there and then you can change the, the wave strength so you can have a glass type atmosphere or just add a little bit like that so you get something on lines with something a bit more natural looking so give you all those tools to, to work around with so if you wanted something uh, that pretty nice um, all right so now I want to show you how you get some really nice reflections um, with this on top of what we have here so uh, unreal has a planar reflection so you just go into your little search type in planar you bring that into your world and as you can see we already have uh, much better reflection so you just want to scale this to your actual water so just bring it here scale it that and then so already as you can see we have actual real reflections that's actually reflecting um, what you see there so um and you'll get this little error here it'll say global plane uh, project settings not enabled um so we, what you want to do is you want to go to window i'm sorry uh edit project settings and then you're just going to type in planar your type and then right here under lighting, it says support global uh, quick plane. So you want to check mark that and it'll ask you to restart um, and it'll just automatically restart. So it'll actually give some better uh, results when it comes to the reflection. So you don't kind of have what I have going on here, um, but that's kind of how you would do it. But that gives you a really, really nice result when it comes to the, uh, the water and how the reflections work. Um, and then on top of that, you just play around the parameters and get something that you would like. So you see a really nice result. Works really well. So like I said, this is going to be coming with the uh, version two of the automatic landscape material. Um, so be on the lookout for it. Thanks.